All right. Okay, there we go. All right, Pisces. This is a love spread. It's the same spread that I did used for my annual 2017 love forecasts. If you're new to tarot or new to my channel or haven't seen this spread before, it consists of nine cards and they are all connected horizontally, vertically, diagonally, and they all revolve around this central energy right here. Okay. All right. Give me a minute. This is a very interesting reading for you, Pisces, because we have the we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And the Wheel of Fortune, this is your central energy, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is always turning, right? It's always changing, okay? When things are bad, they're going to get good. When things are good, they're they they have the potential to get bad and then very and then good again, okay? Now, this is reversed for you in January. And also Pisces I thought so hard about redoing your annual love forecast because it was not good. Okay. So keep in mind that when I did that reading, when I do any readings, that's how the energies are at that time. Anything you do to make adjustments in that can change the outcome. Okay. Obviously these tarot card readings can be used as guidance, but they are not fortune telling. Okay. This is not saying this is your outlook specifically for January and there's no other option, okay? You can always make adjustments to your attitude or your outlook or a person or anything. You can always make adjustments. This is this can this is really just to be used as guidance in scenarios, okay? So keep that in mind and a lot of people were really unhappy with my Pisces reading. I read the cards and that was the message. So one I'm sorry Two, you can make adjustments to it. Three, I'm hoping for you, Pisces, that as we move through the year, that those messages will most definitely change, okay? So, but for starters, it's showing that what the same thing, okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune reverse, so things are not going your way. Things are not going as you have had planned for them to go, Okay, you may start feeling frustrated. The good news with this, though, is overall um, that it's bad and it's going to get good because it can only stay bad for so long, right? Okay. Um, and again, I'm only focusing on love, so this doesn't mean that every other area of your life isn't going splendidly. Okay, so just keep that in mind as well. But the Wheel of Fortune is return is reverse, so luck is not on your side right now. Uh, fortune is not on your side right now, and in terms of love. Luck is not on your side right now. However, when we begin January, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a fire energy. This is a new beginning, okay? This is strong sexual chemistry. This is a very sexual card. It's a card of initiation. It's a card of, um, you know, getting something started, all right? Uh, new beginnings. And this is what's interesting here, Pisces, is it's right next to the two of cups which is essentially the soulmate card or the commitment card okay you're committing you you and this other person are committing to each other and you're bonding each other you're sharing your emotions with each other so this tells me pisces that there is either a, a recommitment or somebody's coming back into your life, or you want them to, or they want you to, or something that's a, most likely with a fire sign, and it's not a brand new relationship because you can't go from a brand new relationship to a full-on commitment in a short period of time like this, okay? Now, what I'm also seeing here is we have the Six of Pentacles, and this is the card of reciprocity, okay? Equal giving, equal receiving, Okay, being generous, all right? It can mean being generous with your money. It can also just mean gen being generous with your time, with your communication. There has to be a balance in that for our relationship to work, okay? You each have to give and you each have to be able to receive, all right? If one person's giving and the other person is just taking or not receiving with graciousness or making it hard for the person to give, how is a relationship supposed to work, okay? You have to have reciprocity on both of your sides to be able to feel emotionally 
secure and safe with a partner, okay? You can't just have love. You can't just have sexual attraction without this safety net, this emotional safety net, okay? Or this, I understand that you need more than I do at some point, and that's okay. I will give it to you. And you have to understand that I need certain things at other points, and you give them to me. And we're safe in that environment, okay? Um, but if one person's just giving and one person's just taking and it's not being received well and there's no emotional intelligence about that balance, this will never work, okay? So this is a very interesting card uh, to, to this situation. I may be personally too close to this and maybe that's why it's very interesting to me. But this cannot work no matter how much love is there, no matter how much sem sexual chemistry is there. This cannot work without an equal balancing out of giving and taking, all right? But it's there, okay? For you, Pisces, there's something going on at the beginning of January that is very strong love connection, very strong sexual connection, and it's showing that there is reciprocity, all right? It's showing that, and this could be you, because this is the chariot card, it's the card of cancer, or water energy. This is showing that there are, there's a swift decision and swift action being taken that encompasses internal emotions, okay, that are, you're keeping to yourself that nobody's talking about. You're not talking about it or sharing it. You're just taking it, you're just taking it with you and you know it, but nobody else knows it. All right, and you're making a decision based on it, and then you're going towards something based on this. And um, so you're moving towards, it seems as if you're moving towards this relationship without really letting this other person know kind of what's going on, and it causes confusion. Or you could be having this. There is balance, so, so I can't say that there's no balance because there is balance and it's causing you to move forward, and you're really happy with it, okay? There's sexual connection, there's new beginnings, there's love, there's commitment, there's bonding, but it's leading to this unlucky scenario, and I don't know if that's just because of the, it must have been um, energetically awkward or off, or something was just weird, and it's just causing all of this discontent, okay? And even more interesting is that we have the Hierophant, reversed. And when the Hierophant is reversed, it essentially means that really, like, there's no marriage, there's no possible possibility, at least at this time, for any sort of marriage to take place, because this is the card of marriage alliance. This also could mean, okay, that you're not seeking outside counsel that could really assist you in this scenario, that could really assist you in making this whole that could really assist you in turning this uh, Wheel of Fortune right side up, okay? It's almost as if you get stuck in this cycle and then you just stop developing and you definitely stop growing together because you, you have to grow together, okay? You can't just have one person be whole and the other person be whole and then you're two whole people and then life is perfect. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for development. And when you're in a relationship, you have to be growing together, okay? And you partner, you have to hold your partner accountable for growing, and you have to continue to grow, and they have to hold you accountable for growing. You grow together as a couple, all right? But if you just get bogged down in this, this uh, cycle I'm sensing, I mean, he's going around and around and around this, this wheel, and then you don't develop or grow together, then there will not be happiness, okay? No matter how much you try to push it forward, if you sit here, this will never turn upright and you will never have emotional fulfillment, okay? The good news is this is completely in your hands, okay? This is seeking outside counsel. This is seeking therapist, counselor, religious advice, spiritual advice, Seeking it's simple, even as if 
talking to your friends or your parents that are married that have long-term successful relationships, seeking their advice about what to do, okay? Seeking outside counsel from experts that have proven success records in this topic, all right? But right now, there's all this love, there's all this reciprocity, there's all this willingness and wanting to move forward, and then you just get stuck here. And there's no development, and there's no growth, and then there's no emotional happiness, okay? Which is very odd, because it's as if, Pisces, you want it to be there strongly, and it's just one of you or both of you is unwilling to work with the other person to make it work. And there's no communication. There's no cards about communication here. Okay. There's just going and coming. There's just like going somewhere and wanting to make, make stuff happen, but not really bringing somebody along or not really, there's no communication here. There's no cards of communication. Okay. There's just unlucky uh, wheel of fortune turned upside down and not seeking any outside advice and no, no willingness to and then there's just everything I don't want to say everything falls apart but there's just no emotional happiness there's no emotional safety it's like you can't have a family and a house and children and pets and feel emotionally secure when you one or both of you are not willing to work on something together for the sake of the other person right so this is a very odd reading. It's very interesting to me. But it also is very clear. Okay? As we round out the end of uh, January, we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is possibly an Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Somebody that is very slow and methodical. Um, uh, maybe approaching you or... Uh, maybe you're because you're unhappy here and you seek outside um, you maybe you break up or you start there's no signs of breaking up or anything though but it's as if you you're unhappy and then somebody comes forth and brings brings you messages okay or maybe there's maybe this is a friend I know this is supposed to be a love reading but maybe this is a friend or somebody that is an earth energy that is maybe you're kind of working with to try to figure out what's going on. But the problem is, is it's not that you're unhappy here. You know, this is not the cause. This is the cause. Okay. It's not like you're saying I'm unhappy. There's almost, I don't see a future. I don't know how to fix this. And maybe if you're talking to a friend about that and trying to, it's like you're, they're talking about, the fact that you are unhappy, not about a solution of what to do with it or what you should do. You see what I'm saying? Because they're looking at this ten of cups turned upside down. It's as if you were very happy or very hopeful that you would be very happy, but then you're just very unhappy. And it's strictly related to effort. Okay. Um, okay. Or just that strictly related to you're just realizing that there is just never going to be a future here. But you can't just say that because... Um, the Hierophant is directly related to outside advice, outside counsel, outside institutions assisting. Okay. So anyway, but this could be you meeting somebody else too, Pisces. Okay. This could be you meeting an earth energy. They're going to be younger than you. Um, hardworking, methodical, diligent, um, younger in their career, maybe junior level. And uh, that might be good, but you're not happy about it because you don't feel victorious. You're actually feeling like you're losing. Okay. The six of wands, again, this fire sign, it's like you're feeling like you're losing because you don't really want to start anything with this person. You, it's as if you want this to turn around to be with this person. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's pull some overview cards, see if we can get a little bit more clarity. Spirit of the Universe, what are the overall messages and advice that you have for Pisces regarding this reading? What are the overall messages and advice? Another thing I'm just thinking about this, Pisces, this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles means application and study. Okay, Applying something that you've learned to make something better. Okay, Applying something to your life that you've learned. All right? 
Um, so that could be you're you're trying to learn or you are learning um, what you maybe can do to fix this situation or at least studying it or thinking about it because you're kind of stuck in the spin cycle. So it's directly related to this loving bond that you have. You're stuck in this spin cycle and it's like you're thinking about it, you're studying it, you're analyzing it and trying to figure out how to apply something. The problem is you don't have the tools to apply anything because you're not trying to learn anything about how maybe how relationship dynamics work, long-term relationship dynamics. Okay. You're not seeking any sort of advice or learning, or, you know, or listening to reading books or, you know, learning about long-term relationship dynamics. So, this is the answer I'm seeking. If you want to fix this, okay, or if you're in a long-term bond and there's not been like a breakup of any sort, but I'm sensing there's some sort of new beginning that's really coming on very strong. But, uh, I mean, if you're in a long-term bond, it's the same thing because there is commitment, there is sexual energy, chemistry, there is reciprocity, there's action, but then there's this stuck, this period of just being stuck. And then there's emotional unhappiness. And then you feel like you're failing. And it's like you're not really failing, but you're not trying to learn either. You just think that everything was equal and maybe it wasn't. Maybe you just think it was. See what I'm saying? And this could be new beginnings and then someone just leaves and then there's emotional unhappiness. It's like these plans changed. And someone's taking directed action. And then it's like there was this goal of having this be happiness. But there's just not. I don't really sense that's the case though. I'm sensing more along the lines of there was directed action. Commitment. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Fool reversed. And the King of Cups reversed. Oh my gosh, Pisces. Oh. You're not happy with your love life right now. You feel like you're done putting work into it. You feel like you, with this being reversed, you feel like you did put work into it and you didn't reap the benefits of what you thought you were sowing. You didn't reap the rewards. Okay. If you look at this upright, he's looking at what he's built and he might be a little tired but he's proud because he sees the development, okay? But when it's upside down, he's not pleased with the result. He's frustrated and upset at what he built, even though he did grow seven pentacles. It's not, he's not feeling like he did a good job. But again, you're stuck because you have this full card reverse, which means you don't want to have any sort of new beginnings, okay? you aren't excited, or at least you're not excited about it, or there's no new opportunities on the horizon, all right? Uh, so you're just in this, I'm sensing you're just kind of in this holding pattern, but not by choice, just because maybe you're frustrated and you're not feeling like you're in your element specifically, because this is the King of Cups and he's reversed. So you're not feeling emotionally content, Okay, there's great discourse in how you're feeling about this. And it's just, you're not feeling good. You're not ready for a new beginning. You're unhappy at the result, clearly. And I mean, the only advice I can see in the way to turn these things around for you, Pisces, really is to first stop spinning. And second, you know, maybe you need to really you or your partner or you and your partner or past partner. I don't see a breakup, but your partner maybe really needs to spend some time and energy either seeking outside counsel or learning how to build true commitment. Okay. Where you learn how, how like long-term relationship dynamics works. Cause it's very different than getting into a relationship dynamics. Okay. Anybody can just go get into a relationship, make somebody feel special, you know, have some hot, hot nights, take, go on some dates, have fun, laugh. 
right? But when you get into long-term relationships, there's ebb and flow. And you have to learn how to bend with people. And you have to learn how to give and take and accept. And, you know, that's it's a whole different animal. And um, it kind of seems like that's what you're frustrated about. And you're really frustrated because it was so promising. Okay? It was so good. So you're kind of holding on to it, I'm sensing. And it's just, you don't really know what the solution is or if there is even is one. Okay. Oh, I see you're going to be so mad at me because the annual one wasn't good. This one wasn't the best, but here we go. What we're going to do, Pisces, is I'm going to be doing mid-monthlies uh, starting in January so we can hopefully give you a better, more positive message and uh, go from there. Okay. So again, this is not fortune telling. These are energies and advice and guidance, okay? 